don't quite got what I need. Uh, this is what I'm looking for here. Old mud flaps or something. All I got is bits and pieces. That's an old original. I gotta get some more. So here's what I got going on. I started the cleaning process. It's been uh, real, really hard. The stuff on there is like, uh, after you let the water hit it, you get all the dust and leaves and wood fiber on the chipper and it rains and then it dries and then it rains and it dries and it rains and it dries for two months. It gets really hard. Now, Paul did keep the V12 spotless. He kept the motor spotless. So, that's good. It's better than nothing, for sure. That's the most where all your fires happen. So, that's that. But everywhere else, it needs a little bit of love. So, I started back here and it has been work. It took me probably half hour to get that cleaned out because what happened is that's the problem. And see this hole here? There's supposed to be a piece of rubber that comes across here and one that folds over that way. Or no, there's one there. Here we go. And I got some gaps down there. So what? That one's gone. And that's what I was looking for. What I use, what I like to use is just an old junk mud flap off a truck or something that's kicking around. And good and thick. That works just fine. I don't need nothing special. I don't have anything. So I, I, I got this built up all the way around because you got the flail drum I'm sitting on and you got one on the bottom right there. And so with these two going against each other, all the air blows this stuff right here out. And when you blow this stuff out, this right here is like perfect fire starter. And it gets on this motor a little bit. On uh, the other side actually is where your exhaust manifold is. That's where you get the majority of the fires, but the good there's like no dust up there, just a little little bit. So I got it all cleaned off and then I was gonna go clean it up so that it didn't blow any more garbage out just to find out I don't have anything to do it. So throughout the day it's gonna get built up. Now with it building up today I can blow it off in two minutes. It'll blow off just fine. But after you let it sit for a while it's when it gets hard. I'll show you. I'll jump down and show you but that's what I'm dealing with today. I was hoping to get that sealed up because when I'm chipping in this eye over here, I can see the dust rolling and out of here and then it goes all over the chipper and I just know that I have to clean that off eventually. But look at it. Doesn't that look pretty? I got all that blowed off. That down there is a little rough, but it's not bad. That looks all pretty. Man. If I could hit it with some water, it'd be like so. They got a so that cylinder, the seal kit went out of that, which it was going up before I left. It was just a matter of time. So they got the spare one on there, and there's also a spare one on my grapple, or as I call it, a bucket. Just weird things. Uh oh, Polly's coming. Oh, he cut those with the chainsaw. Paul got a new 372 chainsaw. As you can tell, he's got to break it in. So he's uh, working that. But all those, this is interesting too. All those sticks here work their way out and land right here. If you don't, if you don't clean them up, they work their way out and they fall there. It's weird. But this drum gets a lot less dust than that one does. 
um, just because it's going a lot slower and it's away from the other two um, but I knew I was in trouble well I could tell it needed a little bit of love and from that chipper guy so when I found my air wand it was up in there underneath all this crap so I knew it needed love when I got here but oh some of this is from me blowing the top off I got the bearing cleaned out a little bit it just see this is what happens when you blow something off like that it looks pretty and uh, when you don't it looks like all that so I'm gonna get it cleaned off I probably won't do a video of cleaning it off because that can be really boring I need to blow that off there let's go for a little tour shall we and uh, yeah they got a hose leak in there dripping um, this stuff right here I'm telling you it gets packed in there and the air wand can hardly get it out I'll probably have to dig most of that out with pry bar first it's just uh, this stuff right here yeah you can't you can hardly dig it out so that hole there tracks a lot that's gonna take some work um, I got a drip here I got a fix on that hose there So, a little bit of what's to come. I got to get the boys on here getting after each other. It's been good. I got a truck pulling in here right now, so I'm going to coil up this hose real quick and take back off. Uh, I would not be able to do any of that garbage, blowing that garbage off from there, if it wasn't for that. Um, but I know nobody wants a video of that, so... Uh, no, we'll do a video on that, but right now I'm just uh, working on getting this chipper back up to cleaned off. It's work, but I'm going to get it. And so that's what's going on today. That's only my second truck. I have four, all of them are preloaded except for one. I got him out of here and then he has to move the buncher and the dozer somewhere else and we got trucks all over Michigan today. If you're in Michigan, I love it when people comment that they see the trucks. You'll probably see the truck somewhere uh, if you're out on the roads today because there are two are on one side of the state and two are on the other side of the state. And one's here and the other one's in the middle of the state and we're on the, you know, we're towards the bay. So they're here, there, and everywhere. So I think I'll end the video here because I got to get loading him. And I got to get all this garbage off so I can breathe again and then take care of my stuff. Um, Paul's got the logs he cut. We can do a video on that. If you all want a video on that, leave a little comment. You'd like a little walkthrough. Maybe we'll do a walkthrough on that. But here's, here's the other problem is Paul and Josh kind of stocked it. And uh, it needs like a lot more stuff uh, for this girl. I need I need like the some air fittings for my air hoses uh, that are in the other old tool truck. Not everything got transferred here. Some got left in there, so I need to go back through, grab some of that stuff, put some of the stuff in here I need because I'm missing some stuff. Um, I'm missing a pry bar. I don't know where that went. It's probably another tool truck somewhere kicking around. So I got to restock this girl a little bit. The lot, a lot of the fittings in there between us are for the old chipper they got thrown in there that won't even fit this thing so you know it's all fine it's all good I had to laugh when I got up in there I'm like what's this thing here is not for this chipper or that slasher or them skitters or anything so <laughs> give me a good chuckle so I gotta get some stuff in there um, get back rolling so that was what's going on today Hopefully we can get something done and finish today strong. Hopefully you chipsters are all having a wonderful day. Um, I got truckers staring at me going, well, why isn't he loading the truck? Because I'm making an important video for my friends. So I'll check all your chipsters out. You guys all have a good day. 
I'm gonna get loading this truck, do some more work on this thing. We got all kinds of stuff coming up that should be enjoyable. So I'll catch all you guys later. You stay out of trouble. Thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. <sighs> Speechless. What do I say? Bye. See you, chipsters. Just keep rolling.